Hey Club Rock crew, we're glad that you've chosen to join us again for another online edition of Club Rock. Let's kick things off with one of your favorites, At the Top of My Lungs. You spoke one word and the dark became light. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. You spoke my name and my heart came to life. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it. Now it's time for the Club Rock Pledge. Hopefully you're continuing to work on this if you don't know it by heart, so that when we come back and we gather together, you can recite the Club Rock Pledge to one of our adult leaders, and you can get your Club Rock t-shirt with our Club Rock logo. Let's do the Club Rock Pledge. This week we have Hayden, Hannity, and Huxon Perkins who are helping us lead. Today is going to be a good day. I thank God for waking me up today. I'm going to church and school so I can learn and be the leader that God has created me to be. Today, I will be educated and empowered by my parents and my teachers with the tools to be successful within my community and throughout the country. I apply myself daily. I study and I ask questions what I don't understand 
when I'm confronted with a problem or a conflict. I think before I react. I ignore all negative influences at home, school, and church throughout my day. I'm extremely proud to be the next generation of Christian leaders. I accept the responsibility and I love the challenge. Let's go! Hey, great job with the pledge. Hopefully you're continuing to work on that so you can get your t-shirt when we get back together. Thank you to our students who have been helping us lead that each week as we do Club Rock online. Now it's time to review a little bit about what we talked about last week. Last week we started going through the Gospel Project again from the very beginning. So we started in Genesis and we saw how God created everything just by simply speaking. He created the heavens and the earth. He created the dry land and the sea. He created the sun and the moon and he created day and night. He created all of the animals. And after each thing he created, God said, it is good. Today, we're going to see the best creation that God came up with as he was creating everything. We're going to look at that here in just a few minutes. Before we do, let's watch Questions from Kids. Hey friends, I'm Pastor Brian. It's time for Questions from Kids. Ava from Monroe, Michigan asks, there's a new kid in my class who is different than me and my friends. Some of my friends say they don't want her hanging out with us. I don't want to be mean to the new kid, but I don't want my friends to be mad at me either. What should I do? You know, that can really be a tough situation. It's hard to stand up to our friends when they are doing the wrong thing. Genesis 1, 26 and 27 tells us that God created people in His own image but all people do not look and talk the same. He makes everyone exactly how he wants them to be. If your classmate is different than you, it's because God created her that way and he has a plan for her life, just like he has a plan for yours. The best part is that God loves us all. In fact, the Bible has these words to us from Jesus. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. And in 1 John, we read, we love because He first loved us. What are some ways you can show God's love to someone who's different than you? So we're going to see today how God created everyone. And He created everyone a special way. We're going to look at that here in just a few minutes. Now let's sing Every Move I Make.
So our big picture question right now is, who is God? And as we talked about last week, that's kind of a big answer, something that's important for us to look at and understand. But simplifying, we're going to say that God is our creator and our king. We know that God is so many things. He is so powerful. He is so awesome. But we're going to be looking at how God is our creator and our king. Today, specifically, we're going to be looking at how God created people in his own image and the fact that he loves us. Let's watch our Bible story for this week. On the sixth day of creation, God made people. God said, let us make man in our image. They will rule over the whole earth and all the creatures on earth. God took dust from the ground and made a body. God breathed into the man and the man became alive. God planted a garden in the land of Eden and put the man there. God told the man to work in the garden and take care of it. God provided food from the trees for the man to eat. And God provided a river to water the garden. Then God said, you may eat from any of the trees in the garden except for one. The garden had a tree in it, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God warned the man, if you eat from the tree, you will die. Then God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. So God decided to make a helper for the man. God brought to the man the animals he had created, and the man gave names to all of the creatures, but none of the animals was a good helper for the man. So God made the man fall fast asleep. He took one of the man's ribs and created a woman. When the man saw the woman, he was very happy. This one at last, he said, is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. The woman was a perfect helper for the man. She was his wife. The man's name was Adam and his wife's name was Eve. God gave Adam and Eve good things. He put them in charge of the animals and provided everything they needed. God looked at everything he made and it was very good. So on the seventh day of creation, God rested from his work. God created people in his own image and provides for everything he made. People are special because God made people to live forever in a relationship with him. Through his son, Jesus, we can have eternal life with God just as he planned. So we see here that God had created everything else in those first five days. And on the sixth day, he saved his best creation for last. And he created man. All of the other things that he had created, he said, let it be. He spoke and it happened. But how did he create man? He paused. He took extra special attention and he formed man out of the dust of the ground. And then he breathed his own breath into the nostrils of Adam, creating the first man, God's most precious and special creation. He created Adam, and it said before he created Adam, he said, let us create man in our own image. Who is the us? Well, obviously, it's Jesus Christ right beside him the whole time. Let us create man in our own image. And so we were created in God's own image. We were created special. You were created special. I was created special. And as questions from kids talked about, every person that we meet and we come into contact with is a creation of God in his own image. And that's why we need to treat people with respect, even if they're different than us. So what does it mean to be created in God's own image? What it means is that we are not exactly like God. We're not a duplicate of God, but we are a lot like him. We have characteristics that are like him. 
we have the ability to love and the ability to have emotions and feelings. And so God created us in his own image. As he looked around, he saw that there was no suitable mate for Adam. And God said, it is not good for man to be alone. And so he caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep. And we know that he took a rib from Adam and he created Eve. He created the first woman. And Adam woke up and he was very pleased. And we have that first marriage, that relationship between two people that began then. But we understand that they were created for one reason. And that is to be in a relationship, an eternal relationship with God. Now the only way that now we, and we're going to look at this a little farther, we know that God put this tree in the center of the garden. And he told Adam, he said, you are not to eat from that one tree. The rest of the garden you have dominion over, you have rule over. But that one tree you are to avoid and you're not to eat from. We're going to talk about that later. But we're going to see that the only way that we can have a relationship with Jesus Christ or with God is through Jesus Christ. An eternal relationship. And we're going to see that we were created for one purpose. For his glory. We use those three words all the time. We were created for God's glory and to be in an eternal relationship with him. And so as we continue through the gospel project, we're going to remember the reason that we were created and we're going to see the need. And we need to remember all along that the story, the Bible is his story. It's his story. It's the story about Jesus Christ. And we see through his creation of man that Jesus was there from the very beginning. What we need to see today is that you are a special creation of God. You were made in his own image. And the last part of our story point for today is the fact that he loves us. He loves you. He loves me. And why? Because we are his special creation made in his own image. I hope you remember that today and I hope you realize that you are special. You are important and you are someone that God truly loves. Let's sing Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation. Purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song.
So we talked a little bit about being made in God's own image. So a little bit more information. What does that really mean to be made in God's own image? What I have here is a mirror. When you look in the mirror, you see a reflection. You see yourself in that mirror. When we look at a mirror, we see a reflection. That reflection is not actually me, is it? If I touch the mirror, that's not me. It's a reflection of me. Being made in God's own image means that we are supposed to be a reflection of God. We are not God, and that's important for us to realize. We are not God. God is God, but we are to reflect God. People should look at us, and they should see godly characteristics. They should see God living through us. And so as we look at the mirror, we see a reflection of who God is, and other people should see that as well. Now, when God made Adam, everything was perfect. But as we know, they were given a command. They were given something that they were not to do. And if we take the mirror and we scribble on it, that's sin. Sin makes a scribble mark on us. It makes us where we look at our reflection and it's no longer clear. And so sin gets in the way. And we're going to see as we continue to go through the gospel project and through the Bible, we're going to see that Jesus came along and he wiped away that sin so that we could better reflect God once again. And so I hope you understand that we are to reflect God. We are to show other people who God is because we were created in his own image we should be reflecting God and showing other people what God looks like. God is so big. He is so strong. He is so mighty. As we've saying before, he should be showing through us since that's the case. And so I pray that you will reflect God in everything that you do. Now it's time for our missions minute. We wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to several of the missionaries that we support financially through prayer and through communication from Heritage Baptist Church. So our missionaries that we wanted to introduce you to today are Greg and Luann Lyons, who serve in the Philippines, Daniel and Laura Duke, who serve in Peru, Dave and Pam Waters, who are part of the International Gospel Initiative, and also the couple that we send a team to serve alongside in Nicaragua. Cody and Nikki Pentecost, who serve with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Jonathan and Heidi Bamford, who serve in the Philippines, Josh and Bethany Weeks, who serve in Southeast Asia. Robert and Rosemary Baghurst, who serve with Ethnos 360 and also attend church and are very faithful here at Heritage Baptist on a weekly basis. Greg and Tina Burt, who serve in Thailand. And Tyler and Hannah Wood, also serving with Ethnos 360 and also who attend church here at Heritage. We encourage you to pray for our missionaries Continue to support them if you can financially, but mainly remember them in your prayers as they serve and do great things for God all over the world. Now it's time for our key passage. If you want to pause this and grab your Bibles, we're going to look at Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 and 17, and it says, All things were created through him and for him and he is before all things and in him all things hold together so going back to Jesus being alongside of God at the very beginning when we were created when the earth was created it says here that all things were created through him and for him so just to re-emphasize what is our purpose to be in relationship with God and to live for his glory. We remind you, try to learn this verse, try to get to where you can recite it from memory. We want to say thank you again for joining us here at Heritage Baptist Church for Club Rock. We're going to leave you with one more song and we're going to sing a song from a while back. This is Submerged.
Hey, thank you again for joining us for Club Rock. We hope you enjoyed it today. We will look forward to seeing you back, hopefully together soon. But until then, we'll see you next week with Club Rock Online.